check it out getting ready to do the pony trails for a show cruise in i guess uh what are you going to call it I, uh, it reminds me of a car show but we're all going to cruise into four nationals today uh of course the boys are here rapping and uh smoke show is going to lead and uh of course ray's sitting here he's got his race red beast and uh cousin doug's rocking the gt350 today he came up from virginia and uh check it out definitely got some wrapping going on here today some beautiful cars check out the bullet just phenomenal This year's T-shirt. <laughs> Flip around, would you, buddy? This is my my sexy model here. Uh, check that out. I'm not a model. <laughs> Look at him. Isn't that just the total package? Yeah, you are so lucky. Let me tell you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. You see them signed. Wow. <laughs> my, old, my old car's up your way. What kind of power? 720 and 749 torque. Okay. This is beautiful. I love the wheels, the color scheme. Two badass GT 500s. Which one do you like better? The murdered out with the red stripes, or the grabber with the offset colored wheels? I think I'm digging the grabber honestly first and foremost. But damn, it's good looking cars. Stage two. It's a real nice car. A really nice detail under the hood. Check that out. Look at that. Somebody airbrushed or painted that. I'm not sure which. It looks great though. Um, yeah. Check that out. Mustang Registry S550. Um, Jack Ruffs signed. Yeah, that's cool. You can always tell when they're an actual Ralph car too because they have the plate. You have to have a VIN number to pick one of these up. So that's cool. He put his signature back there too. It's a good looking car. This is guy. Guy came in. This is a work in progress. This is an older Factory Five Daytona Coupe that he started to cut up and modify. Uh, apparently he put power windows in it, so he created his own door channel, window channels. Um, he's, it's a work in progress, but uh, I think it's cool to see somebody actually building his own vehicle. You can kind of see the work he's done here. You can see he's still working on the dash. It's pretty cool stuff. Let me zip around here so you can see what all he's got going on. Pretty cool. I want to walk down here again, show you guys uh, a couple cool cars here. Of course, here's a, a S197 Ralph, great looking car. Um, and then this is Jay, the uh, the owner or former owner of CJ's. This car is an actual anniversary edition, number 68, uh, built in 15. And I'm going to zoom out here. He has decided to keep this one and begin modifying it and driving it for himself. You can tell it's the real deal. See all the chrome taillights again. But uh, he has, he's put wheels on it. As you can see, he's got exhaust on it. And uh, he has begun to modify this. And uh, I just thought it was cool. He put the stripe on it. He's, he's definitely making it unique and making his own. Grill delete. But again, this is an actual low mileage. Up until a few months ago, it was sitting still covered in the showroom. And uh, he has gone to town to it. You can see he even painted the brake calibers because I don't believe they were painted on the factory like that. Pretty cool stuff. Wanted to show you guys that as well. To you guys, just the sheer number of cars coming in for the Pony Trails. Anything Ford, um, 
is lighted. You know, you've got a Raptor. I saw uh, older Lightning coming in. A lot of GT 350 Shelby's. There's a bunch right there. Check it out. Uh, I wanted to shoot this 500. They came in quickly here. They're getting ready to leave, and I'm excited to uh, to have a chance to do this for the first time. I'm going to shoot some video, hopefully, while we're driving. But check this out. This is kind of cool. Um, I like the stripes. And, uh, you can see, look at the wheels. Look how dirty they are. That's what happens when you drive your car. Pretty cool, though. Not go too fast. Uh, we are taking a lot of curvy roads. We're going to be going over a mountain. Some of the roads might be a little wet. So you're going to take it easy. Maintain pace. Uh, turn your headlights on. Kind of like people sort of know we're together. You're still going to get cut off by traffic. It happens every year. But try to keep it together as best we can. The route is a little longer this year. Probably an hour and 30, hour and 40 minutes until we get to the end. If you don't want to do the entire route, when we make a right on 34, you can make a left and that'll take you right into Carlisle. So that'll save you about 30 minutes off the end. But if you stick around, the end is actually the best part of the cruise. We're going to go over the mountain and get to see Carlisle. It's beautiful up there. Smoke shows in the lead. give you this uh, turn by turn directions it's kind of cool um, and I, I gotta love uh, the, the car on the cover there it was in the showroom it looks just as good uh, in the showroom as it does on the picture there and uh, but uh, yeah here we are you can see all the cars in a row behind us that's kind of cool all the cars back there it's cool beautiful country we're in Perry County and uh, we're gonna go over top of stairs gap I believe come into Carlisle and uh, I'm videoing this because you guys have got to see this uh, coming up on a nice uh, rolling turn to the left here and uh, this is great got a nice hard 90 here practically yeah this is a pretty cool turn and uh, yeah yeah it's a shame we're going we're in a group here because this is an awesome turn and that awesome imagine if we were actually like carrying some speed Too. We should try this place to eat. North Mountain Inn. Good old dive bar pub. Oh yeah. Cool. Here we got a nice group.
great looking cars. 